Hey guys, what's going on? This is Markstrom here, and today we'll be taking a look at character creation for Scum. This process can look complicated at first, but I'll be giving you guys a quick, concise breakdown on all the numbers and show you how to make your ideal build. Keep in mind that your character will not transfer between different servers, so you'll need to either recreate your build each time or test out a new one. Looking at your character creation screen, you'll see three options that will have no impact on your performance in game. These are name, head type, and tattoos, so feel free to customize them how you'd like. All the other options will mold what will become the base statistics for your starting character. There are four main character attributes, each of which range between 1 and 5, 5 being the most advanced. The game allows you to manually input 12 attribute points to your liking, and in addition, add two bonus attribute points depending on your character's age selection, adding up to a total of 14 points. These 14 attribute points can be distributed among the four attribute categories. Strength increases muscle size, caloric requirements, efficiency in carrying heavy equipment, recoil control, proficiency in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and overall fast twitch muscle fibers. These fibers perform quick, powerful movements anaerobically and quickly fatigue. Constitution increases your endurance, overall stamina, stamina regeneration, health points, metabolic efficiency, character leanness, and overall your slow twitch muscle fibers. These fibers allow for long, steady aerobic exercise like marathoning. This cardiovascular endurance will also help you perform tasks easier when exhausted, such as aiming. Dexterity speeds up your day-to-day -day actions like reloading, drawing or holstering your weapon, stance changing, or cutting down a bush. Dexterity also reduces your character's weight and muscle mass, which increases its balance and agility. Intelligence makes your character a more perceptive learner, but is largely skill-based. Before allocating any of your attribute points, it's important to look at the next menu to understand the big picture. Don't worry, you can go back. Each attribute point accounts for two skill points. These skill points are then distributed to your liking within their respective trees. Each individual skill has five levels. No skill, basic, medium, advanced, and advanced plus. You can only attain as high as advanced in the character creation menu. Determine what skill trees interest you most to help decide where you should place your attribute points. Some of these skills are currently ambiguous and hopefully we'll receive an in-depth description of each of them in the future. Please note that some skills are grayed out as they aren't fully developed within the game at this time. Attribute points need to be set efficiently if you want to get the most out of your starting character, meaning that each skill slider should land perfectly on either basic, medium, or advanced. Here is an easy formula that breaks down the skill slider to make things a little simpler for you. Basic skill level for any individual skill requires 0.5 attribute points, medium skill level requires 1.5 total attribute points, an advanced skill level requires three total attribute points. This will help you consider how many attribute points to place into each of the four attributes. Once these points are placed, the only way to increase your skill within these categories is by doing the action itself. For example, if you want to increase your character's boxing skill, you need to physically fist fight in game. The experience gained is shown by hitting the tab button, accessing the metabolism tab up top, and looking underneath the BCU ICU monitor. An empty circle represents no skill, quarter circle basic, half circle medium, three quarter circle advanced, and full circle advanced plus. Your percent progress is shown in addition to the current experience over required experience to achieve the next level, which at the present time is 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, and 10 million experience points. Armed with this knowledge, head back to your attribute menu and allocate your points. Clicking the left and right arrow by the numbers will only change the value by 0.2, which can cause an efficiency when multiples of 0.5 are required. Click and drag the dot in the center of the triangle for a more precise selection. Also note, there seems to be an occasional issue with the skill sliders, where for example, 4.5 attribute points will seem insufficient for 3 medium skills, even though the math checks out. Simply reset your sliders and do your best to be precise. With a little fiddling, I've always achieved my desired build. For those of you who are curious, here's my current favorite build. I focused around constitution and strength for better mobility as I learn the map, and explore more content to ultimately bring you guys more guides. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and will be well prepared to create your perfect character when jumping into a new server. I invite you all to swing by our stream team's official Marksman server, which will be live on day one of the game's official public release. Let me know what you guys thought of the video in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe for more content like this. If you'd like to be notified when these videos go live, click the bell next to the subscription button and join the notification squad. Also, be sure to tune into the live stream every day of the week, starting at 7 a.m. Eastern at twitch.tv slash markstromtv. Thanks for watching.